morning. It is the Mountain Report. My name's Greg Powers, living the dream here on the mighty mountain, looking at three, 30 degrees, three degrees, no, 30 degrees as uh, we start the day off. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot. And do you ever get tired of that? Take a look at that. Uh, some great coverage out there. We, we, we have got the latest and greatest information. I don't know if it's the greatest. We have the latest. And uh, first off, uh, you know, the calls have already come in. Greg, you got a haircut? Yes, I did. Hudson and Company, brand new place. I have a new stylist uh, right downtown Kingfield, just opened up. Uh, you can check them out. They got a great view of the river. We have got also, uh, I just got a, a scoop in. Uh, Andy spoiled it and then put it in the weather, but 4 to 5.30, uh, it's Cookies and Cocoa, uh, music by Rick Ray, and that is taking place in the uh, room uh, right there at Deli's. And guess what? special celebrity Sam Moore is going to join him uh, for some autographs cookies cocoa uh, neighbors can meet neighbors and you should check that out today uh, it's happening from three and uh, four until 5 30 today lots to talk about uh, the front face open and bracket basin going to open today or slated to open today we might have to wait till it softens up a little bit same thing with some of the trails from yesterday but we got a trail count 141 uh, four inches of snow we have had we are going to throw it over to outside Andy. Good morning, outside Andy. Let's do some weather and trail. All right. Good morning. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning, skiers and riders. It's time to for take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of our channel. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see some spotty snow showers today, mostly cloudy skies out there. 39 to 41 at the base with a calm wind, 30 to 32 up on the, on the summit uh, with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those winds should not be an issue at all. Heading into Sunday, we'll hang on to some occasional light snow out there. Hopefully, could see a couple inches of accumulation. 39 to 41 at the base with a light west wind. 29 to 31 at the summit with a west wind, 10 to 25 miles an hour. So just a bit noticeable up towards the top of the hill. For Monday, we'll see isolated snow showers. Once again, a high of 37 at the base, low of 26 at the summit of the mountain. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies with cooler temperatures. Highs only in the upper 20s on Tuesday and the lower 30s on Wednesday. Looking at your trail report from Birchwood Interiors, we're looking at 158 trails to ski and ride on. 62 of those groomed, serviced by 11 lifts. And we'll see some packed powder conditions this morning and then things warm up. And we'll see spring conditions in the afternoon. Bracket Basin and the front face have been open the past couple of days, so hope you, hopefully you'll we'll be able to take advantage of that as things loosen up. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, and the Muscalator get going first thing this morning to move you around the base area. Skyline gets going at 8.30, as well as Super Quad and Double Runner West. The uh, Super Quad will run till 4.20 today. King Pine and Wiffle Tree on the east side are scheduled to run today as well. And Bucksaw Express at 8.30 with all that new terrain and the uppermost lift. Winds and weather permitting at 9 a.m., and that shouldn't be an issue at all. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Cinderho, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Gondola, or Lower White Nitro, Gondola Line, Spillway, and Sluice, all groomed out. On the east side, you'll find Widowmaker Flume, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, lo Lower Buckboard, and Cruiser groomed out. Make a note, the uphill route is open. Just follow the signs and the designated route, please. Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, Chipper, and Lower Bucks are all groomed out as well. Uh, they'll get all of those West Mountain trails, the new ones out there, all smoothed out for you. And we're looking at Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook groomed out around the base areas. And the Stomping Grounds, Spur Line, Drop Line, and Sidewinder all looking good as well as far as the uh, terrain parks go. There is still skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They have been out there grooming at night. The snow coverage is hanging on. Just look... Uh, Look, be on the lookout for some spring hazards out there, as expected. And the Anti-Gravity Complex, great spot for some indoor activities. They're looking for some summer help with the Town Recreation Department as well. And the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, another great spot to check out for some indoor activity or relaxation. They've got a great cafe, too. And don't forget at Deli's on March 16th, Cookies and Cocoa Apre Get Together with Sam Morse. He's been doing great this year, so be sure to check that out. Say hello and congrats to him. And St. Patty's Day Music and dinner at the trails end up in eustace village 
check out the quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go. Also, don't forget to check us out on social media as well as many ways to watch us, Channel 17, here and at the hotel. And you'll find us streaming 24-7 at WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and we've got a channel on Roku. And don't forget to tune in to our live mountain reports, 7.30 to 9 a.m., Saturday and Sunday, so you can be in the know before you go. Enjoy the day, folks. I'm Jeff Kennedy, designated broker for Mountainside Real Estate. I've been a sugar loafer since 1984. I actually uh, came here as an intern out of Penn State. And I fell in love with the area and I've been here ever since. Well, I've actually been selling real estate for Sugarloaf since 1984. Um, and that, that just gives you a wealth of, of experience. Um, and we know the people, we know the owners here. I mean, I've been here, being here 40 years, you get to know everybody. We're on Main Street in the village, open seven days a week, uh, 8.30 to five, come see us. We're back. It is a Mountain Report. My name is Greg Powers. That is the shot right there upstairs over the Widowmaker of the fireplace right there, the beach cam as it's called. It's accessible. And of course, our live camera is available on our website, WSKITV.com. Here's a very good tip for you here. That, um, if you would like to be a sponsor of our quad cam, because there's this global, there's this eclipse, and there's going to be so I, I don't know how many, but, but they're anticipating hundreds of thousands of people in this area to look at the eclipse. And many will be looking at our live quad cam as, as they do all the time. And uh, maybe you want to be a sponsor. It's available. It's available. Uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of people here. And uh, we're even talking about maybe doing a, a live show that day. Of course, uh, we need to run that up the flagpole. Uh, speaking of... of uh, flag poles and uh, boat masts. We have uh, got Captain Kip. He's joining us. He's putting his gloves on for us. Uh, he's, he's anticipating uh, uh, us. You're live on the air, and uh, we kind of okay. look right to you, and we're watching you get ready, and uh, just looking to see what you are seeing on. How are you, Kip? Well, yeah, just out of the green room, Greg. Yeah, just out of the green room. Well, interesting day. You know, it, the, uh, the snow changes as you further up you go. Well, it was warmer down here, so it was a lot more moisture in the snow down low and not as much moisture up top. So when you grew, I came down haywire, and um, it was really soft all the way down to Candy Side, and a little firmer on Candy Side. I found the snow further down here a little firmer than what's up top. They're still, they're still grooming, boy, I'll tell you. They're just getting the sluice head wall, the extension from spillway cut across. They just got off Gandhi Line. And uh, they, they they had not finished up um, Widowmaker yet, so it's going to be some great skiing over there this morning. Wow, it's really good conditions. Yeah, no wind at all, but a little cooler than you'd think. You you look at the uh, the and go, oh, it's going to be one of those, you know, just the best day. But up top, a little chilly, and we are starting to lose our um, our sunlight. You can always you can look over toward the um, west, and you can see the snow coming. I think we're going to get. Of course, Russ really predicted one to two inches of snow today. Oh, I think the day of uh, really sunglasses on the mountain, it, that, that part of the day is over. There was sun on the trails when I was heading up in about five minutes to seven. By the time we got to the top, the sun had disappeared. So, off and on, I think the sun may come uh, off and on, but you'll probably need um, goggles in the morning for flat light. It's, uh, it's pretty good skiing. I mean, it's wall to wall. I, I just just down low, I, you know, if you're if you really want, it's getting toward spring conditions, Greg, where, you know, you never really want to rush out at 830 because the snow is uh, quite firm. You wait till um, nine, nine thirty and uh, you'd be happy because the snow will have a chance to soften up. But if you want to go up top, it's soft up there. I know they've got white nitro and Gandhi extension groomed out. That ought to be a great, 
great ride up there. And King Pines is scheduled to go back online today. It was great. Though. I Probably know. Hey, every once in a while, uh, I get to do some really interesting things. And uh, one of the things I get to do is, is, is try out new skis. Now, this ski here is called a Volant. Now, those who skied in the 70s and 80s will remember Volant. It was a really high-end ski, all stainless steel. I mean, well, you know, it's, it was really, I never got to ski on a pair, but um, they were really a high-end ski. Well, Atomic has purchased the name and what's left over the company, and now, now they're starting to make the Volant back. This is really, this is a high-end ski, real high-end ski. It's got stainless in it. It's got carbon fiber. It's got wood. I don't know, all the exotics are, are in it, and it's, uh, it's, it's not a ski um, because of the price point that's for everyone, but if, you, if you're really looking for a ski that can do everything, uh, you can try one of these Volants. You can, uh, you can go over to the Downhill Supply Company, and they can order you a pair. They don't have them, they don't have them in stock yet, um, but they will, they will shortly. It's, it, they can order them for you. I'm going to have Kochi come out, who is the... Uh, Atomic rep for the for New England, and he's going to just talk about it around eight o'clock this morning. We'll talk about. He can explain it better than I can. I, you know, I never really worry about how it's made. I, I'm worried more about how it skis. So, absolutely, he'll uh, he'll talk about it. Well, thank you, Kip. And uh, I, I wasn't sure where you're going when you said you got to try different things, but uh, <laughs> I appreciate where you went with Greg, that. Greg, and, you and speaking of Russ, you're always he's thinking. going to join us on the program tomorrow, so we'll talk about that snow, and uh, he, he's going to join us tomorrow. We look forward to your next uh, exploration and report. Captain Kip, we appreciate it. You betcha. You betcha. See ya. And he has brought you by the Downhill Supply Company. Let's take a look at some things here this morning. Uh, indoor activities, well, look, uh, too many to mention. And they're looking for some summer help, too. Uh, pool director, assistant camp date director. Uh, go and visit them down at the anti-gravity complex. We're just down at the library. Boy, there was a lot going on down there. They were making some barn quilts. We're going to bring you that piece here uh, on the program today and uh, or soon. And Sport and Fitness Center open for biz. Hot tubs, you can make reservations for those. It's right on Mount Side Road. You can still ski in there. And the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum is open. It's right there on the Access Road. Celebrate and preserve and check out their gear. It's free. And Downhill Supply Company, it's not free, but a lot of things on sale and you can get equipment tuning and repair right there downstairs quick and easy life is good and you can represent by checking out the store and uh, Birchwood interiors anything to do with the interior of your home they're located right there in Village West go and check them out and the Carabasic Coffee Company has got your bag of coffee you know you can pick up uh, buy it in bulk right there they'll grind it up to order right there in Kingfield. Speaking of Kingfield, still 30% off all Sugarloaf sweatshirts, t-shirts, and more great gifts at the Maine in Maine shop. Country Mutt, uh, a busy place because they do pet grooming. They also do overnight accommodations, tons of toys and treats. And Jordan Lumber Company, craft your dreams with us. Check out, check out their custom-made cabinets. Go in and uh, have your dreams designed by them. And if you want to get a chance to test some skis, Lionel is looking for someone for a March 29th uh, demo days. Check it out. Give them a call. Western Main Screen Doors, uh, Doors, and so much more. Carabasic Valley, the community honoring Clem and Rolanda Began. Uh, they have done so much over the past 50 years, and there's going to be a big celebration on the 30th. Hope to see everyone there at the library in the Began Room. And know before you go, like I said, uh, we, we normally get just tens of thousands of people um, that always check out our, our quad cam and our website all over the world and people that can't be here, you know, uh, we're streaming there as well. And if you want to sponsor, we, we've got a big uh, event coming up, of course, at Solar Eclipse. Uh, we're going to bring you more information as it comes a little bit closer next month. Uh, but we, uh, we got some glasses for those. Hope everyone is uh, protected when they do check that out but we're like in the in the right zone uh, and Sugarloaf's gonna have a party here and there's gonna be so many people all the hotel rooms are all sold out uh, there may be some camping available uh, locally but uh, we want to let you know it, maybe you're an advertiser a great opportunity here to sign on board if you want to get on our website or our streaming as an advertiser you can always give us an email shout uh, WSKI TV at WSKI TV dot com we'll take a break we'll be right back
your fun at the Shipyard Brewhouse, a slopeside delight for skiers and snowboarders alike. We're serving up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So stop in before, after, or in between your runs. The beer's always flowing and the good times are rolling. So check our website for midweek specials and the live music schedule. I pray all day with cold brews and mountain views at the Shipyard Brewhouse. We're here at the rack right here at the bottom of the access road and we're checking out the sign because you know what vinyl tap saturday sunday rigometrics right here and don't forget this weekend don't miss out on the tastiest treat anywhere for breakfast right here at the rescue shack open at seven till 11 o'clock park right here have some barbecue maybe take the shuttle right up that's a secret right there and uh, check it out your complete trip to the mountain includes coming to the rack Oh, come on! Favorite thing at the bag? The burger. I think the French onion soup. The bag burger. Great pizza, great burger. The Valentine's. The beer. The bag burger and the pepperoni pizza. Love the bag burgers and the curly fries. Soup and Valentine. The Gucci burger. Looking at all the happy faces. I enjoy the, uh, the intellectual banter. The burgers. That's easy. Atmosphere and the company. Delicious. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Back Co. Financial. Honest, independent, experienced. Joining us from the top, our friend Connor Ski. Well, hey, well, Connor, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Greg, and how are you guys doing? You know, we're living the dream down here. We're looking at some, uh, some good coverage out there. And uh, maybe some other things to open. Even I know there's been some talk of uh, the front face and bracket basin at some point. Uh, maybe you can give us a little bit of an update. Yeah. So uh, yesterday we did open up uh, some of the front face about halfway down Nitro, and then we did end up opening up bracket basin. But we are going to check that this morning. It was getting pretty thin. Yeah. But uh, we thought the Friday crowd might enjoy that. Well, there. Good for them. And. We have got 141 trails. Uh, we, we did get some snow, but uh, as Kip mentioned this morning, um, things are going to soften up and get better as we go. Yes. Yeah, we're looking at about, I, think, I saw a high of 44 degrees this afternoon down low, so it will get pretty soft throughout the day. Right. And uh, we are looking at spring-like conditions, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> hey, uh, any races or anything going on that we should know about, Connor? Just CBA down on Comp Hill using their T-bar, but we do not have any sanctioned race going on today. Go Big Dogs. Well, there is the, the word, and if you're out there today, uh, you know, enjoy uh, the hard work out there uh, everyone is doing to keep these trails in great condition. Be respectful to one another. And how about your trail of the day, Connor? Oh, I'm always a fan of uh, Cinder Hill from the Summit. Send it all from the summit. There you go. We appreciate it. Thanks, Connor. You and the gang. Uh, have a great day. Thank you, Greg. You guys as well. Okay, thank, thank you. you. There you have it right there. Connor giving us a scoop uh, as to what's going on out there. And uh, we're going to give you the scoop now and what's happening for breakfast. And if you will go down to the rescue shack, <laughs> they're more than ready. How could they be more ready? Stop on by 7 to 11. And you can start and end your day there. And uh, start your day with a great cup of coffee. Java Joe's has got the espresso bagel soup, snacks, sandwiches, and then delis. Hey, check out their sandwiches as well and different ways to order online. And, of course, their uh, 4 to 5.30 event with, uh, with Sam Morska and Rick Roy on doing some music. Brunch happening at the 45 North at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock also uh, brunch and music down at the Shipyard Brewhouse Ski and Ski Out. Of course, St. Patrick's Day, corned beef and cabbage going to be had uh, at the Bag and Kettle. Uh, of course, it's be celebrating there as well, bringing in uh, some 
happy times for St. Patty's Day. And if you're going up to Bow Ankles, enjoy their food and their garage bar. And you have got some acoustic apres happening Sunday. And then uh, you can check out Mas Amigos for world-class uh, margaritas. They get a happy hour 3 till 4. They're open at 11. And fresh produce, meats, liquor, beer, wine, and more. It's my inside grocery, located bottom of the access road. Don't call, just stop on by. Hey, Sugar Bowl, they are open. And uh, Sunday, they've got a CVA bowling uh, going on, 2 to 4. And you, you can bring your little party there, have some fun at the Sugar Bowl. Looney Moose, they've got uh, lots of plans for St. Patty's Day, including uh, great sweet treats and more. Uh, Flagstaff General Store, Check out their rotisserie chicken. St. Patty's Day celebration, boiled dinner is going on at the White Wolf Inn. Uh, you can go there. They're sold out as far as rooms go for their uh, clips, but you can get them now. They're available. Pines Market, Route 27, Eustace. Everything you need, Trails End, St. Patty's Day with Ripa. And, uh, of course, uh, Thursday is 2 for, and it starts at 4.30. And if you are watching, you know, old school, uh, style and uh, we're not filling the screen for you. Well, there's a button you can push. It's called Asper, and boom, right, just like that, it fills in. Here's my recommendation. Of course, now we're streaming, and we are streaming on our website, as I mentioned earlier, wskitv.com. Now you can also find us on YouTube um, and also on Roku. That's my recommendation because Roku. Uh, yeah, great full resolution picture, check it out. And now in the hotel, uh, you can check us out as well. We're on the TVs there. And we appreciate uh, the staff of Sugarloaf helping us out with that. We've got much more to cover here. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Ta -da. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning, skiers and riders. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, wskitv.com, including streaming of our channel. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see some spotty snow showers today, mostly cloudy skies out there. 39 to 41 at the base with a calm wind, 30 to 32 up at the, on the summit uh, with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those winds should not be an issue at all. Heading into Sunday, we'll hang on to some occasional light snow out there. Hopefully, could see a couple inches of accumulation. 39 to 41 at the base with a light west wind. 29 to 31 at the summit with a west wind, 10 to 25 miles an hour. So just a bit noticeable up towards the top of the hill. For Monday, we'll see isolated snow showers. Once again, a high of 37 at the base, low of 26 at the summit of the mountain. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies with cooler temperatures. Highs only in the upper 20s on Tuesday and the lower 30s on Wednesday. Looking at your trail report from Birchwood Interiors, we're looking at 158 trails to ski and ride on. 62 of those groomed, serviced by 11 lifts. And we'll see some packed powder conditions this morning, and then things warm up. And we'll see spring conditions in the afternoon. Bracket Basin and the front face have been open the past couple of days, so hope you, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of that as things loosen up. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, and the Musculator get going first thing this morning to move you around the base area. Skyline gets going at 8.30, as well as Super Quad and Double Runner West. The uh, Super Quad will run till 4.20 today. King Pine and Wiffle Tree on the east side are scheduled to run today as well. And Bucksaw Express at 8.30 with all that new terrain and the uppermost lift. Winds and weather permitting at 9 a.m. and that shouldn't be an issue at all. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Cinderhoe, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Gondola, or Lower White Nitro, Gondola Line, Spillway, and Sluice, all groomed out. On the east side, you'll find Widowmaker Flume, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, Lower Buckboard, and Cruiser groomed out. Make it note the uphill route is open. Just follow the signs and the designated route, please. Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, Chipper, and Lower Bucks are all groomed out as well. Uh, They'll get all of those West Mountain Trails, the new ones out there, all smoothed out for you. And we're looking at Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook, groomed out around the base areas. And the Stomping Grounds, Spur Line, Drop Line, and Sidewinder, all looking good as well as far as the uh, terrain parks go. There is still skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They have been out there grooming at night. The snow coverage is hanging on. Just look... Uh, 
Look, be on the lookout for some spring hazards out there, as expected. And the anti-gravity complex, great spot for some indoor activities. They're looking for some summer help with the town recreation department as well. And the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, another great spot to check out for some indoor activity or relaxation. They've got a great cafe, too. And don't forget at Delis on March 16th, Cookies and Cocoa Apparay get-together with Sam Morse. He's been doing great this year, so be sure to check that out. Say hello and congrats to him. And St. Patty's Day Music and Dinner at the Trails End up in Eustis Village. Check out the quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go. Also, don't forget to check us out on social media as well as many ways to watch us, Channel 17, here and at the hotel. And you'll find us streaming 24-7 at WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and we've got a channel on Roku. And don't forget to tune in to our live mountain reports, 7.30 to 9 a.m., Saturday and Sunday, so you can be in the know before you go. Enjoy the day, folks. Hello, I'm Earl Morris, owner of Birchwood Interiors. For 31 years, we've been providing you, our fellow sugar loafers, with furniture, flooring, mattresses, and window treatments. But what many sugar loafers don't realize is the amount of construction and new renovation work that we do. From fireplaces to kitchens to bathrooms and steam showers, we do anything inside the walls of a house. We love what we do and hope you'll shop locally with us. Potter's Market, it's located in Stratton. We're with Ken, and this business has been family-owned since 1935. And you don't remember that, but uh, it was, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. And the con tradition continues with all the things that we need for all the holidays with St. Patty's Day coming up. Fodder's, is that Irish? Uh, Fodder's is French. Yep. Mm -hmm. French, well, they, they, but still a celebration, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. We like to celebrate them all up here. Why not? Now, you got uh, you got to have corned beef, right? We've got uh, corned beef uh, points on sale this week for three sixty nine a pound up here. Yep. Uh, we've got all the fixings, cabbage, uh, uh, carrots, yeah. and corned beef hash. Mm -hmm. So we're ready to go for the holiday weekend. Water. All, everybody's Irish on St. Patty's Day, <laughs> exactly. right? Now, what about beverages? You know, that seems to be a part of St. Patty's Day. We've got your, you know, your staples over there in the cooler, and we've got the Guinness and all of the things that you'd want on St. Patty's yeah. Day. What you need to toast, what you need to eat. Tell us when you're open. We're open seven days a week, Sunday 9 to 5, Monday through Thursday 8 to 7, and fr Friday, Saturday, uh, Seven to seven, eight to seven. Eight You're the best. Seven. And remember, there's always chili here, yeah. uh, and you can get sandwiches to go. And anything else you want to tell? I guess you know, next month we're gonna have like thousands of people here. That's gonna be crazy for the eclipse, right? We are anxiously awaiting that. We, uh, it, it's gonna be quite the show, and yeah. we're gonna be front and center for it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you'll have a chance to not see it with everyone else. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Hey, thank you. You guys have a great day. We are back and we are taking at the Bowinkles cam right there. So uh, watch out if you're sitting out there on the porch. We're going to be watching you later. Uh, they're closing early today uh, at 2 o'clock or 2.30 um, because they have an event, that uh, big multi-course dinner up there. Um, so they are going to close a little bit early today, uh, and that's the reason. Uh, but joining us here live, always here and ready for fun, is Captain Kip. He has a guest. Kip, take it away, Mr. Man. Well, first of all, Greg, I, I came down um, Tote Road in great shape. The best skiing I have found is probably from uh, bottom of skyline up. It's a little firmer on the other, on the bottom. But, you know, the, like Ram Down, they've just finished grooming Ram Down. That'll be soft all the way down. Wiffle Tree, I think they just groomed up part of Wiffle Tree. Of course, if they're coming down Ram Down, they got to go down Wiffle Tree anyway. So uh, those particular trails will be soft as you, if you go up. If you want to get out Tote Road, it's great. I came down Haywire. That was a little firmer than uh, Chicken Pitch, but it's all, it's all really skiable. Speaking of skis, Greg, 
Downhill Supply Company is having huge sales, 20, 30, even 50% off of some hard goods and skis from last year. So go in and see the folks there at the Downhill Supply Company. If you're looking for your bargains, now's the time to get them. And I was fortunate enough, Coach, you here let me ski on a pair of these Volants. They're made by Atomic. When I was younger, they used to be stainless steel and pretty exotic ski. They are still exotic, but now they've, they've changed a little. Tell me a little bit about this ski. So uh, this is a ski we took over. It's company itself. It's back in 2003, mainly for the technology reason. But the uh, top sheet is stainless steel, semi-cap construction. It's uh, indestructible. It's very strong. But uh, these days, we still make this uh, skis for limited production model. And it's very exclusive to those people who really enjoy and appreciate the quality of the ski and the ride. So uh, dimension itself is very similar to our Q series, Q9, 9.8. It's a 50 meter radius uh, uh, giant slalom style cruiser, but yet it's, it's quick, uh, quick turning, yet stable and high speed. But it's, uh, unfortunately, it's not built for everybody. This is for the elite use. The retail price is between $2,250 to $2,450. Uh, depends on either one 7,000 model or 9,000 model. Uh, and that's, of course, with the, uh, including binding. And, uh, but the, those guys who are looking for uh, uh, something different, and this is a kind of a ski that, wow, I cannot find anything wrong with this. That kind of skis, and it's so smooth, so comfortable skiing, and it will satisfy everybody. But mainly, you are uh, skiing for uh, driving like a Bentley SUV, and that kind of uh, skis. So it's a, I, oh, I'm sorry, I, it is a great ski. I, I, I tell you, it is so smooth through the turns. Really is, Greg. It is a wonderful ski. Now, Coach, if, if you wanted to find out more about this particular ski, how do they go about doing it? Okay, uh, any of Atomic dealer can order these things. And uh, so if you're interested in contact the Downhill s Supply, and I can even ski with you if you're interested. But it's not everybody for everybody, but it's uh, if you want to be the guy, this is a ski. Oh, it is, it is. If you can tackle Kochi sometime, he's always out here skiing. He, he'll ski with you. You can try a pair of these out. They are, uh, they are something else. They, they really are. When he, when he mentions Bentley, it's like, it's like you know, a Bentley automobile. It is smooth. It's quick. It holds well. Today, it was a great day for me to try them because soft at the top and firmer down the bottom, and it, it, it is really a wonderful ski. Oh, you can order them through the Downhill Supply Company. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. All right, Greg, we're going to take a couple more runs, and... Uh, I'll check in. I'm going to go try and get to the top, Greg, because all the, you know, it's all cleared up there from grooming. So I'm going to try and go up, maybe Sleuth or or, or um, Godly Line or something. I'll check in if I get to the top. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Captain Kip. We appreciate it. Brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company. All right. And we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with Dave Coda and Mr. John Beaupre. And, uh, well, that's all you need to know. The floor you choose can be more than just beautiful. It can also make a difference. By being environmentally sustainable and better for the planet, it can last longer and be cleaner and healthier for your home. We care about the same things you do, which is why at Allwood Floors, we only use responsibly sourced real hardwood and bamboo. And because we know the floor you choose can make a difference. Allwood is available exclusively to this region here at Jordan Lumber. Please come down and see what we have. Ask for myself, Brian, or Alyssa. Ski in, ski out at Sugarloaf Inn for unmatched on-mountain convenience. Boot up in the comfort of your room, head down to your private ski locker, and you'll be on the chairlift in no time. After you spend your day making turns at the loaf, head back to the inn for our prey. With the shipyard brew house on site to serve you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'll be fueled up throughout your stay. See you soon for your slopeside stay! 
Welcome to the Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum. Great location right here on the Access Road at Sugarloaf. Come on by. Our mission statement is to celebrate, preserve, and share the history and heritage of Maine skiing and snowboarding. And that's what we're trying to do. Check the website, mainskiandsnowboardmuseum.org for more information. The phone number is on there. You can call, set up a time if you want, or you can come down when, when we're open. Hope to see you soon. and it's located right here in Stratton. You got to check it out. About seven miles north of the Access Road and uh, we're with Bob in front of some delicious looking whoopie pies. I see we got a little green going on, St. Patty's Day, and you have many things to talk about. A lot going on. Yeah, um, for this weekend, it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. So uh, in addition to our mint flavored whoopie pies that you see down there, um, we're going to make our Irish cream uh, donuts. Um, so one is a Irish cream filling with a chocolate on top, kind of like a Boston cream, but mm -hmm. you know, different filling. And the other one will be just like a, a regular frosted donut, but it'll be frosted with uh, Irish cream mm -hmm. topping. So uh, we tried them last weekend. They were really popular. So yeah. we'll bring them back uh, Saturday and Sunday. Um, you know, rumor has it that you're going on a pilgrimage to uh, the big restaurant show in search of more, even more ideas. Yeah, we, uh, we've kind of been sitting down looking at the preview of a couple of different food shows coming up, and uh, we got some ideas for our summer menu. We got uh, some ideas for specials, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I looking to tasting some of these ideas at the food show to yep. see if they uh, meet our standard. And then they'll be, <laughs> hmm, let's see, we have to think about this, new ideas, as you always do. Uh, speaking of ideas, uh, people want to know, if, you know, we have a big uh, event coming up, an eclipse, and um, will you be open that day? Yeah, it's uh, Monday, April 8th. We're normally closed on Mondays, as everybody knows, but we will be open that day. Yeah. Uh, we're going to run our Sunday hours, so it's going to be from 7 a.m. till noon, breakfast only. Um, we've got an Eclipse donut. Uh, we've got an Eclipse whoopie pie. And uh, we've got a couple of other things we're looking into. Um, and uh, just to give you guys a little taste of what's coming later this summer, when we put the new menus out, we have a uh, Kansas City rub pork belly with jalapeno slaw. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> it certainly sounds good. It sounds, uh, it sounds great. A little Cajun maybe? Yeah. You know, a little yeah, spice, and yeah. you know, uh, who doesn't like bacon, right? <laughs> Spicing it up here at the Looney Moose, as you always do, and uh, we're looking forward. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, and looking forward uh, to uh, you, also your celebration here. Open on the Eclipse Day. Now, everyone's coming here because this is like ground zero. Yeah, that's what everybody was telling us, mm -hmm. and talking to some other people, I said, well, when you're the only breakfast place in town, you got that many people coming in, you might as well be open. <laughs> Start your day off at the Looney Moose. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. <laughs> Makes up for the bad winter. <laughs> All right, we are back and looking at some good coverage out there. And uh, Kip give us just gave us a report. We'll get another one coming up from him. Brought to you by Downhill Supply Company. And here, uh, the mountain here in beautiful Carabasset Valley. And I have two special guests that are joining us. Of course, entrepreneur, local entrepreneur, and select person John Beaupre, and our town manager Dave Coda. Both of which um, just I'll paint the picture the. 24 years ago, uh, uh, <laughs> when you guys came up that dirt road, 27, <laughs> on your on your horses, and and you thought, wow, our lives will never be the same, huh? Right? Yeah. And they haven't. They haven't. And you stayed. Welcome, John Beaupre. <laughs> Thanks, Greg Powers. Thanks for having us. Welcome, Dave. We appreciate it. Yeah. And and I know. Uh, 
<clears throat> that it's a new chapter coming up for you guys, and I, I, we just can't move forward until we take a look at all the great successes uh, that you guys have helped to spearhead, you and many other people, mm -hmm. and I want to talk about some of those projects, and uh, you know, because today everyone wants to live here, and uh, it, it's accumulated, the seed was planted, it grew, and it's really blossomed and continues to, and I think the two of you are very instrumental, uh, oh, both thank you. Uh, it's, it's in the direction of it, and then, and we were talking during the break, John, you've been in the entrepreneur of the grocery stores here for a long time. June 19th, 1989, yeah, yeah. I rolled in here as a 27-year-old kid, yeah. wide-eyed, ready Curly to take hair. on this Sugarloaf community <laughs> yeah. and conquer all, and I was humbled pretty quickly, yeah. and uh, 35 years later, as a 62-year-old man, I've just recently retired as the greatest career a man could ask for. Yeah. Uh, I owned and operated four stores, and yeah. then in and amongst there in the year 2000, I was elected to the Carabasset Valley Board of Select People. Huge badge of honor in my life, and just for historical perspective, the day I was elected as a Carabasset Selectman, we hired this <laughs> brand new town manager, and you guys, a great man sitting on my left. Yeah, and, and you guys have hung in there together. I know there was some talk of you retiring before, but yeah. the two of you hung in together, yeah. and, yeah. and I've, I've, you've achieved some great things. Let's talk about a timeline here. I know there's a timeline available on the website, uh, Carabasset Valley uh, website, that shows a lot of it, and, and you wrote some down and, and, and just so that we could highlight some of them. It's a pretty surprising list, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, I, I tell you, you know, I, I took an hour yesterday, and I went through and I kind of listed everything chronologically. I don't know if Andy can put it up or not, but having said that, uh, I started, because I hadn't really done this before, and the projects we started in the year 2000, and, you know, to this date now, and, and I, you know, we haven't had a lot of time to, to catch our breath. And, <laughs> There's a, you know, we've done so many projects and a lot of people have been involved, all these committees, you know, and all these collaborations, you know, we've done projects at the Outdoor Center, the Narrow Gauge Pathway, the golf course, I mean, these list keeps going, the library, the airport, the town lots, the Sugarloaf Explorer System, the fire station, the mountain bike trail development, I mean, the list is just, you know, and then there's all these sub-projects within it, yeah, it's kind of a chronological list of of, of these projects since 2000. Um, that was a pretty good buy for 430. It was a hell of a buy for 430,000. <laughs> we've, we've actually made more money harvesting wood than that. So, uh. I mean, we've, you know, so it's, it's been amazing. Yeah, it was. Of course, you know, there, there, are, there are deed covenances that go with it, but, but, yeah. which is a good thing. So, but anyway, no, we've done, and again, I just, there's a lot of people that deserve credit, you know, for all these projects. I can talk a little bit about some of these. I know John has been incredibly instrumental uh, in the golf course projects, and then with the library. He's on the library board, and he's served as chairman of the, uh, the, the town's golf course greens committee for, all the, for a number of years now. So he's been really interested. The ups and downs of, the, of golfing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Season, seasons are just as tough on it, them. It was easier chairing that committee than actually playing golf itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I, but, but what a great addition. I mean, let's talk about it. That, that, that's a great uh, a draw. And, and moving towards Four Seasons, did you ever, I mean, this is really the vision, wasn't it? Well, you and I were talking off the air before we got here. You and I have been here, I've been, as I said, 35 years. And when I got here, it was a one-season community. We were skiers. Uh, we had Judsons. Judsons, yes. <laughs> uh, there wasn't a whole lot of traffic up and down the Route 27 corridor. And now you and I looking eyeball to eyeball, smiling about the growth and prosperity of this great community and great region. Right. It's mind-boggling, yeah. and we're now a four-season vital community. Right. Um, I had forgotten some of these projects. I've been here so <laughs> long, but boy, it's a it's it's a great source of pride to have been in and amongst, yeah. you know, these projects and the growth and the new people and and you know, my fellow entrepreneurs have grown and prospered. And yeah. then you look at the mountain itself, which is our economic breadbasket, and mm. you just smile yeah. and and you know it's. In my opinion, it's very well managed growth. Mm. You know, it's been a lot of growth, but you know, with my fellow board of selectmen and all the great committees and boards that we work with in and amongst, it's mind boggling, Greg. I think there's always fires to put out in any government, right? And especially with a, a something as uniquely structured as we have here in Carabasset Valley. Um, yeah, with all the collaborations we do, we sort of blur the line sometimes between public and private. You know, <laughs> right, especially right. with Sugarloaf. You know, I mean, we do it different. 
We do it differently. <laughs> but we do it well. But yeah. We do it well. And, you know, we're very much joined at the hip, you yeah. know, and like no other resort, right. you know. And, and it's, it's been incredibly beneficial. Yeah. It really has. And I say we, I'm not actually a taxpayer of Carabasset Valley. I have a couple other towns that I am fortunate enough to pay taxes to. Wish that I was a Carabasset taxpayer. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to talk more. We're going to come right back and talk more uh, with Dave and John and uh, talk about the timeline and much more. Stay with us. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning, skiers and riders. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of our channel. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see some spotty snow showers today, mostly cloudy skies out there. 39 to 41 at the base with a calm wind, 30 to 32 up on the, on the summit uh, with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those winds should not be an issue at all. Heading into Sunday, we'll hang on to some occasional light snow out there. Hopefully, you could see a couple inches of accumulation. 39 to 41 at the base with a light west wind. 29 to 31 at the summit with a west wind, 10 to 25 miles an hour. So just a bit noticeable up towards the top of the hill. For Monday, we'll see isolated snow showers. Once again, a high of 37 at the base, low of 26 at the summit of the mountain. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies with cooler temperatures, highs only in the upper 20s on Tuesday and the lower 30s on Wednesday. Looking at your trail report from Birchwood Interiors, we're looking at 158 trails to ski and ride on, 62 of those groomed, serviced by 11 lifts. And we'll see some packed powder conditions this morning and then things warm up. And we'll see spring conditions in the afternoon. Bracket Basin and the Front Face have been open the past couple of days, so hope you, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of that as things loosen up. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, and the Muscalator get going first thing this morning to move you around the base area. Skyline gets going at 8.30, as well as Super Quad and Double Runner West. The uh, Super Quad will run till 4.20 today. King Pine and Whiffle Tree on the east side are scheduled to run today as well. And Bucksaw Express at 8.30 with all that new terrain and the uppermost lift, winds and weather permitting at 9 a.m., and that shouldn't be an issue at all. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Cinderhoe, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Gondola, or Lower White Nitro, Gondola Line, Spillway, and Sluice, all groomed out. On the east side, you'll find Widowmaker Flume, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, lo Lower Buckboard, and Cruiser groomed out. Make note, the uphill route is open. Just follow the signs and the designated route, please. Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, Chipper, and Lower Bucks are all groomed out as well. Uh, they'll get all of those West Mountain trails, the new ones out there, all smoothed out for you. And we're looking at Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook groomed out around the base areas. And the Stomping Grounds, Spur Line, Drop Line, and Sidewinder all looking good as well as far as the uh, terrain parks go. There is still skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They have been out there grooming at night. The snow coverage is hanging on. Just look... Uh, Look, be on the lookout for some spring hazards out there, as expected. And the Anti-Gravity Complex, great spot for some indoor activities. They're looking for some summer help with the Town Recreation Department as well. And the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, another great spot to check out for some indoor activity or relaxation. They've got a great cafe, too. And don't forget at Deli's on March 16th, Cookies and Cocoa Apparet Get Together with Sam Morse. He's been doing great this year, so be sure to check that out. Say hello and congrats to him. And St. Patty's Day Music and dinner at the trails end up in eustace village check out the quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go also don't forget to check us out on social media as well as many ways to watch us channel 17 here and at the hotel and you'll find us streaming 24 7 at wskitv.com the spectrum app and we've got a channel on roku and don't forget to tune into our live mountain reports 7 30 to 9 a.m saturday and sunday so you can be in the know before you go enjoy the day folks Hi, I'm Deb Pierce. I've been a sugar loafer since 1975. My style is really low pressure um, and nurturing. I like helping people through the whole process, make them feel comfortable. Um, I'm a good listener. This market is crazier than I've ever seen. So if you're looking to buy or sell, please come see me here right in the village. Um, we're here every day, nine to five.
We are back. What's up with that? It looks like that's blowing snow, or is that it? It, yeah, it's snowing out. It is snowing out. It's actually oh, yeah. snowing out, and we're up two degrees, 32 degrees, um, and we are looking at 141 trails. We'll take that for snow. Mountainside Real Estate bringing this live quad cam shot, and of course, you can check it out on our website as well. And join us, Dave Cota, Town Manager, uh, and also um, getting ready to uh, start a new chapter, getting ready to retire, and we're kind of going through some different gems of the over the years from the timeline. And John P Beaupre, select person and local entrepreneur as well. Uh, so great that uh, you could both join us, and I know that you guys have always teamed up a lot. And uh, as you sure know, have. Uh, just don't team play golf with us. <laughs> yeah, just don't play golf. And, and I, they they promised they wouldn't tell my, they won't tell me the golf score. We're better municipal <laughs> officials than we are golfers. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of these wins right here because uh, we've been continuing with that with the list here and. Uh, Oh, there was just a, a meeting uh, that just happened. A lot of people were there, but maybe you could uh, maybe uh, give us a couple of highlights from the meeting. Yeah, we, it was it was great. The town's doing a new comprehensive plan. It's the third one that the town has has completed since its birth in 1972. Mm. Uh, but having said that, with great turnout, we had about 50 people, variety of folks there. Uh, you know, planning the future of the town. You know, and I think that that speaks well for the future of the town. Certainly you know, does. it's an opportunity to. Get your, your thoughts out there about you know, your vision and where you think the town ought to be going, some things that are missing in the community. Or, and you know, it was just great to see. And I think, you know, it's great to see that, you know, the town will continue to be a progressive community and, you know, and improve on recreational amenities. And, and you know, the town will work together uh, with all the various committees in Sugarloaf and continue to do great things. Now, has there been a replacement uh, do you get to pick, you know, like no, when, no. when the bass player left the Who, yeah. uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no, left players. the Rolling Stones, he got to pick his own bass player. Yeah, I'm the guy behind the curtain getting things done. I'll, 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 I'll take that. that one. We've hired a, uh, a <laughs> consultant to help us pick Dave's successor. The first thing I'd like to say, it's been a real honor working with this man. Our town is very fortunate to yeah. have him as our town manager yeah. for the last 24 years. It's big shoes to fill. Yeah, sure. With that said, we've hired a consultant to help us. Uh, go through the process of taking in resumes, and we're actually doing a nationwide search. You know, you never know if someone who ran Vail, Colorado, may be interested in coming to the Western Mountains of Maine. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult process, uh, but the board of select people and and a small committee are going to take the time to find, you know, someone yeah. as close to the skill set well, as well, he you know, has. That's you know. that's my question. What what are the qualities you're looking for to replace Dave? I mean, I can pick a couple. He's very detail-oriented. He works really hard. We've seen all his reports that they do every year and keeping us uh, keep things as transparent as you can. And uh, what, what are some of the other skill sets that you're looking for? Maybe well, I can speak for the Board of Select people. Apparently, before I got there, it, it, it was a, little, a lot of self-work, you know, a lot of um, preparation and things like that. And Dave has made it really seamless for us. You know, when we get the reports in front of us, they're detail-oriented, as you mentioned. They're thorough. Mm -hmm. And it just made our job so much easier to make these decisions based on the facts and data that he had put in front of us. Mm. That's huge. Yeah. You know, it's just a whole lot less work, and, and we make better decisions because of a really good town manager. Right. You know, they'll, they'll be some good candidates. You know, the town's, you know, grown, and the town is an attractive town to be in. And I'm, right. I'll be the biggest cheerleader. You know, and John is the biggest promoting cheerleader the town ever had. He's just amazing, you know. And we're so fortunate to have had John here as a select person, along with the other selectmen here. We, right. It's pretty amazing Great board of selectmen. Yep. A very progressive board. You know, not afraid to pull a trigger to get things done. You know, well, they're going to worry about, what do you think the, the citizens are going to say about this? You know, none of that. How do we get the yes? Yeah. And, and that's been the key, you know, and they've gotten the yes, right. you know. And it's, it's been a great board to work for, and, and uh, you know they, know, they know how to get the yes. And I think it's a, being an attractive community to somebody out there, to somebody out there listening right now that, you know, feels like they want to uh, give it a try, put in a resume, you know, and there's a process involved, as John said, and uh, there'll be an ad out, I think, fairly soon. So, um, but anyway, I, I think, they'll, you know, the town has positioned itself so that it's, you know, we can attract a really, hopefully a very attractive candidate. Absolutely. And, I bet we will. But we're looking for the perfect fit. Now, who, who takes your place, John? Well, I thank you for leading into that. I, I Roddy Erlenbach well, uh, won the local pretty election. Fine replacement. And I tell you what, uh, the, the other young lady who ran, I hope she gets a seat on down the line. Right. She was very uh, 
yeah. ready and apparent to, to take over. But Roddy reminds me of me, but 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. He believes in the valley. He believes in the resort. He, but he's an entrepreneur as well on the side. He's our ski patroller. I, Greg, I couldn't have hand-selected a better successor for me. Right. It makes me feel very prideful that sure. Roddy will carry on. You know, he has my beliefs. He has my management style. Yeah. He's a friendly, open, affable guy. Is there any concerns about him being uh, a free healer telemark? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to the uh, public opinion okay, to, to take in. Yeah, fair enough. I, I am a huge fan of Roddy, and I'm thrilled that he will be taking my seat. Oh, that's awesome. It is uh, awesome. Yeah, you feel good about it. And your businesses as well. Uh, you know, uh, I know you've recently sold the business in Annie's, which I frequent quite a bit. Thank I you love, for your patronage. Yeah, I love I love that store and always have. And um, uh, you must be happy that someone that's going to love it uh, has taken it over. So I was driving up this morning, and how does a man who's had a 35-year career in this area digest a degree of success and longevity? And I'll tell you, there's only one reason, Greg. It's the people. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was not unanimously supported, but uh, the, the degree of support I've received in my career is overwhelming. And there's one emotion I can summarize my feelings this morning, and that's gratitude. Awesome. Awesome. Your life will never be the same. Yeah. <laughs> my life changed June 19th, 1989, and it's been a wild and fulfilling <laughs> ride, my friend. And you guys have even got the road paved. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Greg, thanks you know for what? Thanks for, for thanks me you. personally yeah, and then for you. all of the other yeah. people. I'm going to say one thing before I go, and <laughs> it's good. a compliment to you. You and I have been friends for 30 some odd years. Long time. This community is very fortunate to have you as our face, voice, <laughs> that was very kind. man of reason, <laughs> facts. Yeah. I've been honored to work with you, and on behalf of the region, thank you for all you well, do. Well, that's very kind of you. And yeah. I'd also like to say it has been a real honor <laughs> and pleasure to work with this great man for 24 years side by side. Well, it's been an honor working thank with you, you too, sir. So. He doesn't like to get complimented no, much. No, it very uncomfortable. I'm the emotional, <laughs> yeah. uh, grateful guy. He's the man of reason. Well, you know, it took a lot of courage to come on this morning. It won't be <laughs> nice to say goodbye. You, and you never know where we're going to go with Greg when we're sitting here. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Greg. We appreciate it, thank and thanks you, for coming on this thank morning. Thank you very much. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Who's tired of standing in the beer aisle trying to make sense of 1,000 different IPAs? Can't there just be an easy choice? Shipyard's American Pale Ale cuts through the noise. It is the American Craft Classic. Perfectly balanced and bursting with just the right amount of modern hop flavors. This is a beer for beer lovers that just don't need to overthink it. Delicious, flavorful, craft you can rely on. Shipyard APA. The perfect choice every time. The Rescue Shack, and we've got a, uh, Sarah with us, and she has been enthusiastically down here on weekends, uh, 7 to 11 o'clock. Sarah, how are you? I am excellent. Yeah. It's been a really great run doing mornings and yeah. making people's day a little bit better. You know, hot and ready. I think it's just starting to catch on that everything is ready to serve. As you pull in, you will have your sandwich in under five minutes if, if I have my way about it. I have the newest piece of restaurant equipment here at the Rack, which is... A blessing in so many ways. So the sandwiches are guaranteed to be absolutely delicious. Cheese melted to perfection. You know it's going to be toasted. Just how we like it here at the Rack. Oh, you know how to describe it, don't you? So uh, you gave us a great hint the other day where we've been passing along. That you could come down here first thing in the morning, have your sandwich, and uh, say hello, of course, and then take the shuttle up. That is very true. We have an ample parking space. The shuttle bus drivers love us dearly. I try to keep them as caffeinated as possible to get ah. through. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to figure out that they can just park right here, catch the shuttle up, and then see us again when we open at three or four. You, you start and end in the right place right here. Now, you have coffee, but you have other things. I sure do. Bloody Marys and mimosas, thank you, Janet Mills, are to go this season. You are welcome to come really? grab a four-pack of either, take it up to the condo, surprise your friends. Creates a really nice atmosphere. We typically have four different types of breakfast sandwiches. We also have been doing breakfast pizza because our chef is amazing, mm. and Brandy is the pizza wizard, if we're yeah. being honest. And you could take it to go. That's crazy. You got like a pardon from the governor. It's it's a beautiful thing, you yeah. know. She saw us, saw what we were doing, and said, you know, 
let my people drink. Hey, Janet, uh, come on down and say hello to Sarah because she's always a happy, smiling face first thing in the morning, and we appreciate it. Thanks. Side note, I've got to give a plug for Sunday. We are doing an awesome boiled dinner here to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and we'd love to see all of you. Who knows? You might even see it on the breakfast menu. Aha! There it is, a scoop. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. Backco Financial is an independent wealth management firm here in Falmouth. We pride ourselves on building trustworthy, long-term relationships so that we can be the first call our clients make when they have questions about investments, finance, and life changes. Our team has a variety of expertise and professional designations that allow us to provide holistic financial planning and tailored asset management. Backco Financial, honest, independent, experienced. There is our live quad cam shot and our first tracks report brought to you by Downhill Supply Company. We're going to take you to another vantage point uh, with the captain giving us our first tracks report here uh, with some snow coming down. There he is at the top of the hill. Uh, he did take the lift. He didn't climb. Uh, he's there. He's secure. What's going on, Captain? Well, you know, Greg, I started at 7 o'clock this morning and there was sun on the trail. Now it's snowing. It's not really heavy snow. But it's fitting, and it reduces visibility, so I would think you need the right goggles, you know. Don't, don't get them for those, for those bright, sunny, bluebird days. Bring a lens that, uh, for a little low visibility. And, and you know, I, I, it's chillier than I thought it was going to be. I looked at the forecast. So it was in the tw high, mid to the high 20s when I left, but it's a damp cold, so you may even want to wear a pair of mittens or um, some uh, hand warmers or something that you, as you're going out today, because it's... It is a little bit chilly. Now it's forecast for the sun to break out now and then, but right now it's snowing. I got to tell you, Greg, what a novel idea to have snow at a ski resort. If you can get into the suggestion box, we should do that more often. <laughs> hey, listen, I was just talking to some of the uh, ski patrol that went into Bracket Basin. Yeah. Of course, Bracket opened yesterday, yeah. and they said it's, uh, uh, in, the, in the high up, high altitude of Bracket, it was really good. There's plenty of snow, good conditions. As you get down into the bowl a little bit further down toward um toward King King's you know it, it it um King Pine it's a little thinner and a little crustier because of the temperature change but it's open so okay. yeah wall to wall uh skiing it, it was just great I think we are number two in the east with uh with um acreage open so what a great day I tell you the conditions were good really good I'm gonna go down Gandhi line Greg because they just got off of that uh, at 7 o'clock, and I'm going to, uh, I'll check in. At, at, uh, see if I can, I, I can beat the clock. I can get down there before you, uh, before 9 o'clock, and I'll, I'll call in there and tell you what that's like. It's good skiing. Come on out and enjoy it. You know, tomorrow, your favorite day. Yes, St. Patty's Day. That's it. Did you be, are you going to be putting on the green face paint again this year? Well, I'm not sure. I I, I haven't picked out my outfit yet, Kip, but I, I, who can beat Seth Nickerson's uh, mint green tuxedo that he wears? Uh, you know, that's it. You know, I think he should wear that more often, not just on St. Patty's Day. That's, that's quite the show. I think he wore it the entire time he was in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kip. <Kepler. laughs> uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, sounds okay. good. And, and we'll take a break. We'll be back with Craig Lee High, and we're going to talk about doors and custom woodwork and restoration work and more. Stay with us. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning, skiers and riders. It's time to for, take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of our channel. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see some spotty snow showers today, mostly cloudy skies out there. 39 to 41 at the base with a calm wind, 30 to 32 up on the, on the summit uh, with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those winds should not be an issue at all. 
heading into Sunday. We'll hang on to some occasional light snow out there. Hopefully you could see a couple inches of accumulation. 39 to 41 at the base with a light west wind. 29 to 31 at the summit with a west wind. 10 to 25 miles an hour. So just a bit noticeable up towards the top of the hill. For Monday, we'll see isolated snow showers once again. A high of 37 at the base, low of 26 at the summit of the mountain. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies with cooler temperatures. Highs only in the upper 20s on Tuesday and the lower 30s on Wednesday. Looking at your trail report from Birchwood Interiors, we're looking at 158 trails to ski and ride on. 62 of those groomed, serviced by 11 lifts. And we'll see some pack powder conditions this morning and then things warm up. And we'll see spring conditions in the afternoon. Bracket Basin and the front face have been open the past couple of days, so hope you'll, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of that as things loosen up. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, and the Musculator get going first thing this morning to move you around the base area. Skyline gets going at 8.30, as well as Super Quad and Double Runner West. The uh, Super Quad will run till 4.20 today. King Pine and Whiffle Tree on the east side are scheduled to run today as well. And Bucksaw Express at 8.30 with all that new terrain and the uppermost lift, winds and weather permitting, at 9 a.m., and that shouldn't be an issue at all. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Cinderhoe, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Gondola, or Lower White Nitro, Gondola Line, Spillway, and Sluice, all groomed out. On the east side, you'll find Widowmaker Flume, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, lo Lower Buckboard, and Cruiser groomed out. Make note, the uphill route is open. Just follow the signs and the designated route, please. Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, Chipper, and Lower Bucks are all groomed out as well. Uh, they'll get all of those West Mountain trails, the new ones out there, all smoothed out for you. And we're looking at Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, the Landing Birches, and Snowbrook groomed out around the base areas. And the Stomping Grounds, Spur Line, Drop Line, and Sidewinder all looking good as well as far as the uh, terrain parks go. There is still skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They have been out there grooming at night. The snow coverage is hanging on. Just look, uh, look, be on the lookout for some spring hazards out there, as expected. And the Anti-Gravity Complex, great spot for some indoor activities. They're looking for some summer help with the Town Recreation Department as well. And the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, another great spot to check out for some indoor activity or relaxation. They've got a great cafe, too. And don't forget at Deli's on March 16th, Cookies and Cocoa Apparet Get Together with Sam Morse. He's been doing great this year, so be sure to check that out. Say hello and congrats to him. And St. Patty's Day Music and Dinner at the Trails End up in Eustis Village. Check out the quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go. Also, don't forget to check us out on social media as well as many ways to watch us, Channel 17, here and at the hotel. And you'll find us streaming 24-7 at WSKITV.com, the Spectrum app, and we've got a channel on Roku. And don't forget to tune in to our live mountain reports, 7.30 to 9 a.m., Saturday and Sunday, so you can be in the know before you go. Enjoy the day, folks. Hey, I'm Michelle DeFrosia. I've been the business manager here at Birchwood Interiors for over a decade. I'm part of a team that I'm very proud of. Our company's goal to treat every customer who walks through the door as our best friend isn't just a slogan. Our clients really do become our friends. The trust that our clients put in us is refreshing in today's world. All of us at Birchwood Interiors seek every day to work with integrity and professionalism that will continue to earn that trust. We're in Village West, so come on in, pull up a sofa, and see what we can do for you. All right, we're looking at some snow coming down. We like that. It's available on our uh, website as well, our, the Super Quad right there. 32 degrees, our quad cam, brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate this morning. And again, uh, you could be a sponsor on our quad cam with the eclipse coming. There could be hundreds of thousands of people checking that out, and you could be right there. Well, uh, there's the captain right there, and uh, we have got... Uh, we could take a quick look while the captain gets ready to give us another report and we bring Craig Lehigh and we're going to take a peek right now at a little piece from Happy Tunes down there. They have got, we got a scoop while we were there and here it is. We're here at the center of the universe, Happy Tunes, and here's the man that controls the center of the universe, Lionel. And Lionel, Happy Tunes has got a lot going on including some services, and maybe a scoop for us? Maybe a couple of scoops. I like it. Here we are. It's, it's March. 
seems like it's the end of the season. Not yet. No. We actually, uh, defying all the laws of retail, we actually bought a bunch of skis. We actually brought in a bunch of skis. You're a crazy man. Crazy man. Yeah. I think Carrie forced me to do it. Yeah, well. <laughs> so as we look on the walls right now, you guys, if you were to walk in, you'll see more skis. And, of course, it is sale time. It's sale season. So that's why we brought those skis in. Uh, so from uh, today on, what are we, March, uh, what is today? March 15th. 15th. From today on, uh, all the skis are now going at 30% off. Now, there are always some sale skis here that are usually the older models, previous years at 40, mm -hmm. 50, 60% off. Um, but now it's a, it's a blanket thing. All the skis are going to be at 30% off uh, from, from here on. Um, will there be more discounts? Will there be more sale? You know, it's sale season. I don't know. Might be. But don't wait too long, you guys, because yeah. it's always the key sizes. It's always the ski that one wants. <coughs> Um, that's there, and then when you uh, wait too long, it's uh, it's gone. What kind of brand name skis are you putting on sale? So we brought in uh, more blizzards, uh, a few more pairs of Elan skis, uh, a bunch of um, Dina Star and Rosy as well, and that's the bulk really of the offering. Um, but there's there's a couple hundred pairs of skis in here right now that uh, are screaming. Yeah. To hit the snow. Yeah, a lot of them. And uh, I know new skis. Uh, why wouldn't you consider that? But you you still got some used ones. And they're always used ones. There's yeah. always a section of consignment skis here that uh, is always well worth checking in periodically as things come in and come out. Uh, you know, with no rhyme, no reason really. Mm -hmm. uh, as people get new skis, they like to recycle, and we like to recycle their used skis for them as well. What about the uh, the tune in store? That service. I mean, it's a little early to be talking about that, but it's still something we should be talking about. I know. I wish we weren't talking about yeah, it. I know, right? <laughs> Here we are, mid-March, and it kind of feels like mid-April. I don't know. There's, there's, there's still snow coming. It's yeah. uh, we, we, we know from history. I'm, I still have hope. Yeah. Uh, the TuneIn Store is a great program, and we've done it for forever. Wait, this is 25th, 26th, 27th year, something like that. Mm. Um, it is. So uh, it includes dropping off your skis. We would tune them. This is how to, how to put your skis away, basically, for the summer, right? Uh, you drop off your skis, we tune them, uh, ready to ski, but then we'll put them to sleep, meaning that we will put a extra coat of storage wax on them. We'll take the binding tension down and uh, put them to sleep in a dry place. They stay here for the summer. And then next fall at some point, like most people do it around homecoming weekend, they would drop off a boot with the instructions to go ahead and awaken them because next time we're up, uh, hopefully there's snow on the ground and we're skiing. Um, and so then we go through the process of recalibrating the bindings, mm -hmm. uh, adjusting them, testing them, taking that extra storage wax off, and then re-waxing for ready to ski. The whole package uh, is pretty good cost-saving measure because it ends up being, you know, it's going to be 90 bucks. Um, and overall, you end up saving anywhere between 20 to 40 bucks versus doing everything separately. Mm -hmm. There's no fee. There's no charge for the storage. It's a convenience type thing. And you don't have to keep moving them around the basement all summer. That's it. It's it, it, a little bit like, you know, if you had your the luxury of bringing your, your, your summer tires to your car dealer and he would keep them for you oh, and then put right, them on right? uh, when it's time to switch tires for the winter. Yeah. It's convenience. Yeah. That's great customer service here at Happy Tunes. And, of course, you can check out their other items. Of course, a great selection of Hester gloves and liners, too. You can buy them by the pair. Uh, it's still, you know, Hesterville for sure. I think you coined that uh, <laughs> some, some, some years ago. It's still there. Mm. One more plug in, you guys. Uh, it is also time for us to do our annual ski test. I think it's our 14th annual ski test. And there's the rub. And it's going to be this year, last Friday of March. It'll be Friday, March 29th. It will be at Saddleback. Uh, just to have a little different venue, they're doing something a little different. We've done it at Saddleback for the past three or four years. And it's worked out quite well. The folks there are very welcoming. Mm -hmm. um, so the nature of this is we put a group of folks, about 40 to 60 folks, we break into two, two to three sessions. Um, and if you're interested in helping us test skis, this is a great time. It's fun. I arm everyone with a little notepad, pencil, and uh, a few directives. Uh, one run, two runs each, no more than two runs. Take notes um, that you want to pass on to me, essentially. You're going to help me do some homework on this. Mm. You're going to have a lot of fun because it's great skiing on new skis. This is all going to be next year's skis. Uh, Friday, March 29th, uh, no real previous qualifications. You know, you just need to be able to ski anywhere on the hill. Mm -hmm. Maybe have decent handwriting. 
<laughs> oh, that leaves me now. <laughs> so if anyone is interested in joining us, again, it's going to be a, a select group. I apologize if you know not everybody's going to be able to get in, but yeah. if you're interested, you should uh, let me know. Uh, either call Happy Tunes, 235-TUNE, 235-8863, or uh, email me, probably even better, at happy, uh, it's happy at skihappytunes.com, happy at skihappytunes.com. There you go. Yeah, all the information you need, you can be part of that focus group that chooses all the favorites for next year, right? It's, it is exactly, it's exactly that. It's a focus group, and it, it's really it's a pretty cool event. Yeah. And he was kidding about the handwriting. I was not. Yeah. He's not. <laughs> well, thanks, Leo. Now we appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, we are back. Captain Kim joined us from the Falkland Islands. <laughs> <laughs> what the Falkland Islands are talking about? Hey, Greg, I came down a Gandhi line as promised. It's in really good shape. I'd head right over there. First thing, it's in really good shape. Then I cut over mid-station to go down um, Wedge. But don't tell anybody, but that was the softest snow I found anywhere on the mountain. Really good in there. How long it'll hold up, I don't know. But give it a look-see. It, uh, it was nice and soft. They were just getting off ram down. I could see, I could see the... Um, the cats going by me as I was, as I was going across the uh, the cut across, but uh, so it's going to be some soft snow around. It's good skiing. Visibility comes and goes. Right now, you can see the sun. Oh, you you know it's light overhead, but it's still snowing. Flat light. Wear some uh, some proper goggles. I'm going to go in and put some mittens on because my hands are a little bit cold. So, good skiing. It's fun, and you know the best part is we get to do this all over again. Yes, and on St. Patty's Day, too. I can't wait to see your outfit. You're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain. We appreciate it. You uh, bet. Great Thank you. Here this morning, and yeah. uh, thanks for sharing your trip to the Falkland Islands. <laughs> hey, uh, Professor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have got Craig Lehigh here, oh, uh, Western Main Screen Door. And uh, have you ever been to the Falkland Islands? No. No. But we could be right now. We could. We, we could pretend. <laughs> I think we right? are. Yeah, listen. Now, uh, you have your, uh, your uh, business located right in New Vineyard, right New, on... New on, Portland. New Portland, rather, yeah, right, right on, on 27. Portland. Yeah, correct. And, and you've been there since the road was dirt. Correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just before they moved it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a nice operation there. You've got a nice yeah. shop there. Been to the shop before many times. I'd like to see you uh, doing some work there. I got to imagine uh, when snow thaws, uh, it reveals the ugliness of some of the older homes and wood homes, and you probably get busy. Yeah, even before the snow goes away. Even before the snow goes, right? Yeah, busy, busy, and all get out right now. Tell us some of the projects that, that you cut coming in and people can kind of... Oh, mostly screen storm doors. A lot of screen porches so far is coming in this year. I got like five or six lined up already, so... So if someone had a... You replace the stuff, or do you? Can you build a custom screen windows for a porch that hasn't had them? Yeah, that's what I got going on right now. Ah, with yep. choice of screens. Yeah, choice of screens and glass. What's the best screen to use? Oh, personal preference. I like the charcoal fiberglass. Yeah. Chocolate fiberglass? Charcoal. Oh, sorry. Yeah, chocolate, yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking at my screen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And that, and that uh, what kind of woods are you using? Oh, I stock uh, Alaskan yellow cedar, uh, vertical grain fir, and uh, mahogany. Yeah. Most everything's mahogany unless... Years, but some of these porches, if you're matching something up, tell us a little bit about that. What, what kind of woods are you using? Oh, I stock uh, Alaskan yellow cedar, uh, vertical grain fir, and uh, mahogany. Yeah. Most everything's mahogany unless...
the staining and painting right there, or is that something an option? Yeah, it's an option. I do some there. Doing a lot of it this spring. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a paint room right there. I've been to it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Right there. And I'm going to teach you how to paint. <laughs> you know what? I probably I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, well you never know. I, I might save be all me right a job. With that. If you got the, you know, uh, plenty of tarps on the floor, they invited me to paint for the quilt, the barn quilt. Oh, we don't worry yesterday. about messes on the floor. We don't worry about no, messes no. on the floor right there. <laughs> no. no uh, it, the shop is located, uh, you don't really have like a retail, you do have a retail area. Yeah, there's a little yeah. showroom down there. Yeah, I got a bunch of stores there. Yeah, and people can come in and see some of those. And of course, your website, what is the website? WesternMainScreenDoors.com. That's kind of handy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you've got uh, a little bit of examples right there. And that's a place to start your order, right? Maybe to take a look there. Yeah, stop in, take a peek, and uh, or take a peek at the website and look at the doors and get an idea of what you're looking for. You might find exactly what you want. You right might, there. yeah. Yeah. They put, keep, people get kind of overwhelmed when they start going through because there's like 90, uh, 90 doors or something up there. It's I see. What's the most unusual usual thing that I know you made, you told me a Jeep you made a Jeep door. Yes, that's probably that was a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done any, you get any other crazy requests? Uh, let's see. What else did I do? I know dogs. People probably have a lot. Yeah, of a lot of dogs. Way. Yeah. That's kind of normal now. Yeah. I guess the Jeep one was probably one of the yeah. one of the best ones. You, you Maybe it was the grill of the Jeep. It would come out really good. I saw the picture of that. It was yeah. pretty cool. Painted it, yeah, bright yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good conversation piece right there. Yeah. How about cats? You don't get many cats on doors, huh? No, I did I did one mm -hmm. last fall for yeah. a for a couple in Farmington. They wanted a cat. Moose, yeah. Donkey, a lot of moose. Donkey, no. No donkeys. No donkeys, yeah. Did a beaver once. Beavers? Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, well, look, that'd be cool. Yeah, well, it's kind of like a blob, you know, with a fat, big fat tail. It is what it is, you know, they, that's right. what they wanted. You know. That's what they wanted. That was the theme. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can do any of that custom work, and you can check it out, westernmainscreendoors.com. Yep. And uh, some of these are ornamental-type signs, like street address, things of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do a bunch of those, too. Name plates? Name plates, signs for houses, or... I did, uh, a couple years ago, I did some signs for a guy's dock. One for his wife's dock and one for his dock. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty big. Really? Yeah. 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 They and then wanted the them out on the end of the docks and got them up on posts. And they have a big line right down the middle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they had separate boats or what, but maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe. That sounds like a... Winning combination right there. You yep. get your own boat. Yep. Well, there it is, uh, Craig. Uh, we appreciate you coming in this morning and, uh, and sharing some of your work and uh, any custom work that you want. Uh, you know, I got to believe it's pretty busy now. You, you need to yeah, kind of plan busy. ahead. Yeah, if, you're, if, if you're June. building that house this summer, then now's the time to order. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get and it in early. Get it in early. He'll be right there. He, he'd love to answer the phone and uh, show you around there. Yep. He's always had great hospitality. Thanks, Greg. Yep, we appreciate absolutely. it. Thank we'll you. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with more. The WSKI TV 17 weather report is brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Visit them in the village or online at sugarloafmountainside.com. Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Good morning, skiers and riders. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com, including streaming of our channel. And this brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. We'll see some spotty snow showers today, mostly cloudy skies out there. 39 to 41 at the base with a calm wind, 30 to 32 up on the, on the summit uh, with a southwest breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. So those winds should not be an issue at all. Heading into Sunday, we'll hang on to some occasional light snow out there. Hopefully, could see a couple inches of accumulation. 39 to 41 at the base with a light west wind. 29 to 31 at the summit with a west wind, 10 to 25 miles an hour. So just a bit noticeable up towards the top of the hill. For Monday, we'll see isolated snow showers. Once again, a high of 37 at the base, low of 26 at the summit of the mountain. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies with cooler temperatures. Highs only in the upper 20s on Tuesday and the lower 30s on Wednesday. 
Looking at your trail report from Birchwood Interiors, we're looking at 158 trails to ski and ride on, 62 of those groomed, serviced by 11 lifts. And we'll see some packed powder conditions this morning, and then things warm up. And we'll see spring conditions in the afternoon. Bracket Basin and the front face have been open the past couple of days, so hope you'll, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of that as things loosen up. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, and the Muscalator get going first thing this morning to move you around the base area. Skyline gets going at 8.30, as well as Super Quad and Double Runner West. The uh, Super Quad will run till 4.20 today. King Pine and Whiffle Tree on the east side are scheduled to run today as well. And Bucksaw Express at 8.30 with all that new terrain and the uppermost lift. Winds and weather permitting at 9 a.m., and that shouldn't be an issue at all. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Cinderhoe, Tote Road, King's Landing, and Hayburner, as well as Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Gondola, or Lower White Nitro, Gondola Line, Spillway, and Sluice, all groomed out. On the east side, you'll find Widowmaker Flume, Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, lo Lower Buckboard, and Cruiser groomed out. Make it note the uphill route is open. Just follow the signs and the designated route, please. Scoot, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, Chipper, and Lower Bucks are all groomed out as well. Uh, they'll get all of those West Mountain trails, the new ones out there, all smoothed out for you. And we're looking at Lower Winter's Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook, groomed out around the base areas. And the Stomping Grounds, Spur Line, Drop Line, and Sidewinder, all looking good as well as far as the uh, terrain parks go. There is still skiing down at the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. They have been out there grooming at night. The snow coverage is hanging on. Just look... Uh, Look, be on the lookout for some spring hazards out there, as expected. And the Anti-Gravity Complex, great spot for some indoor activities. We're looking for some summer help with the Town Recreation Department as well. And the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center, another great spot to check out for some indoor activity or relaxation. They've got a great cafe, too. And don't forget at Deli's on March 16th, Cookies and Cocoa Apre Get Together with Sam Morse. He's been doing great this year, so be sure to check that out. Say hello and congrats to him. And St. Patty's Day Music and dinner at the trails end up in eustace village check out the quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time so you can know before you go also don't forget to check us out on social media as well as many ways to watch us channel 17 here and at the hotel and you'll find us streaming 24 7 at wskitv.com the spectrum app and we've got a channel on roku and don't forget to tune into our live mountain reports 7 30 to 9 a.m saturday and sunday so you can be in the know before you go enjoy the day folks Hi, my name is Barb Larson and I've been a sugar loafer since I was about 10 years old. My favorite way to spend the day at Sugarloaf is without a doubt with my daughter and my husband taking some turns on the mountain. We live here, we work here, our kids are in the programs. We have our finger on the pulse of the market every single day. If you're looking to buy or sell, please come and visit. We're nearly ski in, ski out right off of Main Street at Sugarloaf. We're here at the rack right here at the bottom of the access road and we're checking out the sign because you know what? Vinyl tap Saturday, Sunday, rigometrics right here. And don't forget, this weekend, don't miss out on the tastiest treat anywhere for breakfast right here at the Rescue Shack open at 7 till 11 o'clock. Park right here, have some barbecue, maybe take the shuttle right up. That's a secret right there. And uh, check it out. Your complete trip to the mountain includes coming to the rack. Smoking! 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 Come on down, see what we got smoking! Do you find yourself suffering from advanced cabin fever? violently restless legs, active body syndrome, 
Maybe it's time you considered anti-gravity. Only anti-gravity has been clinically proven to cure you of the doldrums, boredom, and enhanced sagging of the bottom. Side effects of anti-gravity include giddiness, having too much fun, and getting into shape. Don't bother asking your physician if anti-gravity is right for you. Just come in today and try it for yourself. likes to drink good coffee. At Carabasa Coffee Company, we roast premium quality coffee beans from all over the world. Roasted to perfection in small batches, our coffee is always fresh. We offer large selection, including our specialty blends, organics, single origins, decaf, and flavor. Whether you like light, medium, or dark roast, we have coffee to suit every taste. We offer flat rate shipping for online orders, and we ship fast. Carabasa Coffee Company. Drink good coffee. I don't know if you can feel this cab moving, but I'm a little worried the machine is going to flip over because it's a second car. This is just insane. I'm trying to eat my lunch. And I'm thinking about going down lower on the mountain. It's, it's, it's just crazy. You can't see nothing. The windshield won't take care of itself. My mirrors, as you can see, are froze solid. Man, I love this place. Man, I love this place. I love this place. my family. I love the bag sauce. Wood-fired pizza for me. Their pizza's the best. Bag burgers are one of the best things in the world. After a day of skiing, it's the best way to end your day. Uncle's winter. winter. Uncle's, Uncle's winter. winter. The best burgers I've ever had. It was amazing. Head to Stratton if you're looking for something good to eat, Looney Moose Cafe, or breakfast and lunch. Just as you get into town, always 